gonna be fun. Um, Jesus Freak 777, 77 Jesus Freak, Glue Sniffer, and now <laughs> Weed Smoker 777. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this guy talk and just respond. Hey, I want to make a video response to truth about stuff. I mean, uh, what's that name? What truth? You don't know the truth. Here's the truth. The Holy Bible. Just a book. Dude, without even... I'm only 14 seconds into this 3 minutes and 13 second video, and you're already proving yourself to be completely lack of knowledge of the world around you. What you're holding is a book. That's it. A book. Genius. What do you know about the Bible, really? Actually, my friend, quite a lot. Um, I know not only the contents of it, um, most, of the story, most of the stories, maybe not chapter and verse, but I do know the, the, the basic stories. I also know the history of where it conflicts with where certain parts of the Bible conflict with history. I also know the origin of of the history, and I can keep going on if you want me to. It's something I don't understand about you is uh, you talk about uh, Dutch free uh, healthcare system like it's uh, good, you know, and it is. To me, it was normal before. Yeah, see, I. You have healthcare over there, something we're fighting to get over here, and you're going, oh, you're saying it's good. Well, it is good. <laughs> Genius. You mentioned it, I even didn't think about it. Huh? But not in every country they have this system. I, I, I understand, not in the USA, I think. No. But why do you think? We have this system. Because of atheists? No. Because of the Bible. People who read the Bible. Wow, you're an idiot. Um, it's a socialized system. Um, sorry, but they were people who were more humanist than they were theist. These were people who set up a system because they wanted to see people happy and healthy felt it was a fundamental right, something that if you go, you know, go over here, and let's say hypothetically you're even close to correct, then why, then why over here do most of the people who are anti against the exact system you have, the hardcore fundamentalist, you don't make any sense. That's why you have the system, you know? Because the Christian principle is the strongest shoulders they carry the most. Dude, you are... <sighs> Try living here and saying that. You'd be laughed at your ass out of every church in America. Maybe something that you atheists don't understand. We... No, we... Under, see, the problem... The, the, here's the problem. You're coming at us from a European Christian perspective where we live in a land, 90% of us, where most of your remove God from what you're saying, that's a lot of what we're saying. Okay, is that if you're if you you know you just said this you know, the strongest shoulders should be be able to support the most weight. Well that's an argument for taxing the rich. But yet you say that here, and who are the first people to come out and scream, No, don't tax the rich! It's the religious. And why do you think wheat is legal in Holland? And let you guess. It's not legal, it's just decriminalized. Well, you guessed wrong. It's not about atheists. It's actually a Christian government who legalized it, you know? And no, it was a secular government, not a Christian government. Because you must have a free choice. 
which is a humanist concept, if you get, again, if you notice the people in this country who are most against legalizing of marijuana, it's usually people who are the most religious. The people who are the most who are humanist and atheist, they see it shouldn't be it shouldn't be illegal. And by the way, it's still it's still you know not legal there. It's just not illegal there. H, you stand up for free choice. Bullshit. Did you think Hitler was for free choice? Hitler was not an atheist. No, he wasn't. You know, Hitler was an atheist. Bullshit. You keep repeating this lie and think if you repeat it enough times it'll become true. It's not. He was a Roman Catholic. He was a Christian. He was not an atheist. Oh, and by the way, as soon as you bring up the Hitler argument, that's a logical fallacy. You lose. It's funny that you are for free health care, you are for legalizing of wheat, but you're against Christianity. I'm not against Christianity at all. Believe what you want to believe. Go and do what you want to do. Just get you and your religion out of my government. Take you and your religion and go over here, and my government will go over here. And then there will be a wall down the middle. And you can be Christian all you want. You can and you're, you be in the government all you want. But to bring your religion into my government is where I draw the line, and that's where you're wrong and you're a total moron. You know, that's like uh, contradictional. No, it's not. No. I love the fact that you had to edit two videos together to do this because you had to stop and think about me. Love that even more. This is the truth. It's a book. And nothing else but the truth. That's why it contradicts itself over and over and over and over. So, maybe you should find yourself a new nickname. And I also want to say that... See, I, I'm not like you where I keep changing my name all the time. Okay? Notice how that when I talk about these subjects, I'm here. Do I change my channel because I'm expecting at any moment my my channel is going to be, you know, is going to be kicked out because of, you know, you know, for whatever myriad of reasons? No, I'm sorry, I don't. I stick to one channel and I'm sticking to my name regardless of whether you believe it or not. You should really think about this. You know, uh... There's no reason to think about it. What I've got, what I bring here is the truth. You can't debunk it. The only thing you got is, huh, uh, uh, uh. You got nothing. Uh, becoming a Christian. And I will pray for you because. I'm going to do a part two.